I work in the working group Cell Cultivation Techniques. This group is part of the new Center for Cell Cultivation Techniques, Tissue Engineering and Medical Biology of our Institute of Chemistry and Biotechnology of the Zurich University of Applied Sciences. I am involved in several research and development projects. This includes the development of cultivation processes with animal and plant cells on a milliliter scale, as well as the scaling act of these processes to the pilot scale. I also work on projects that deal with the development of new devices or new systems, for example, to meet the current needs of biopharmaceutical producers. And in addition to my work in R&D projects, I'm also involved in the training of our bachelor's and master's students on the biotechnology program. And this includes not only various practical courses, but also the supervision of their final thesis. And furthermore, I am currently doing my PhD in cooperation with the Technical University in Berlin in the field of process intensification with animal cells. The center develops, characterizes and cultivates cell lines, delivering products such as bio and cell therapeutics, but also solutions for cosmetics and food industry and process scale-up can be realized from the milliliter scale to the pilot scale. And our research group, the Cell Cultivation Techniques groups, focuses on processes with plant and animal and also human cells. And in order to rapidly develop biotechnology production processes, we use our cell biological, bioengineering and also our process technology knowledge. And the group's activities includes also teaching, research and further education. When scaling processes, there are many challenges. Unfortunately, it is not possible to keep the conditions exactly the same on a production and laboratory scale. When scaling up, the bioengineering parameters of the large and small bioreactor must be compared and the decision made as to which parameters are critical. In perfusion processes, in which we reach these very high densities of more than 100 million cells per milliliter, for example, it is necessary to ensure the high oxygen requirement. However, this must not be accompanied by excessive gassing rates or stir speeds, as otherwise the cells could be exposed to excessive shear forces and the product yield would be reduced or the product quality impaired. And another factor uh, is high CO2 concentrations in large bioreactors, which may need to be reduced in order to protect the cells. Together with Thermo Fisher Scientific, we developed antibody production processes in fat batch and perfusion mode at the milliliter scale and scaled them up to the 50 liter pilot scale. The aim of the scale up was of course to develop a process on a large scale with consistent growth and consistent product formation and quality. However, the focus was also on making the scale up as simple as possible so that the scientific community and other biopharmaceutical producers can also scale up their processes based on our data without great effort. And therefore, before we developed the processes on a laboratory scale, we looked at the bioengineering parameters of our pilot bioreactor and developed the process on a milliliter scale based on this. And in the perfusion processes in which uh, very high cell densities of around 100 million cells per milliliter are obtained, the focus was on the oxygen supply to the cells and we therefore chose the KLA value as the scale-up criterion here. In the fat batch processes, we focused on the stirrer tip speed as the scaling criterion and both bioengineering parameters are easy to determine for stirred bioreactors and can therefore be used by a wide range for users for scaling their processes. The efficient pro medium and the corresponding feeds are modern cell culture media with which we were able to achieve high product titles in a relatively short time. And the aim of perfusion processes is either to uh, the production of the cells or the production of a high value product such as a therapeutic monoclonal antibody. Perfusion processes have the advantage that the cells are always supplied with a constant concentration of nutrients and that waste materials are continuously depleted. And from an economic and ecological point of view, efficient utilization of the perfusion medium used is essential. This means that the perfusion rate should be as low as possible and at the same time high quantities of product should be performed. And the high intensity perfusion show medium enabled the use of very low 
perfusion rates with less than 10 microliters per cubic millimeter end day. During the process development, we were in constant contact with the scientists at Thermo Fisher. Together, we were able to discuss the current challenges on a scientific basis. And this included, for example, the development of the feeding strategy for the fat batch and the perfusion processes, as well as the selection of the exact cultivation conditions based on the bioengineering parameters of the bioreactors. And it was a really good cooperation, which, which resulted in several publications in research articles, application notes, posters, and also contributions to conferences. Music